how to check if your iPhone is real. Now before you buy a used iPhone or if you just bought one, watch this. I will show you exactly how to verify if your iPhone is real or fake using the different various methods Apple recommends. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is verify the serial number and the ME number. We can do that by going into settings. In settings, go down and tap on general, then tap on about. In here, you can check the serial number. So in here, we've got the serial number, or you can also use the ME number. So here, t touch and hold on the serial number, and then tap on copy. After that, we're going to open up the web browser, and you want to go to the website called checkcoverage.apple.com. So checkcoverage.apple.com. So go to that website, and and then once you're here, so go to the website. Once you're here, you want to paste in the serial number. And then tap on submit. Now, do not trust a third-party ME checkers. Only use the one from Apple website, the one that I'm using here right now. And from here, you should uh, see it shows your device information. Uh, it should show the limited warranty, if it's still in the warranty or not. And it should tell you if, it's, um, if it can locate your device. If that serial number does not show up and, your, and uh, the Apple coverage cannot locate that serial number, then it is likely your phone is not genuine. Okay, the next one is to check the Apple App Store. So either on the home screen or in the app library, look for App Store. Now only the real iPhone can open or run the Apple App Store. If it's a fake uh, iPhone, usually it has a clone uh, Android or Google uh, Play Store or some other unknown store. So you want to check the App Store and see if you can open it up. You can look for apps and see if you can download apps from the App Store. So this is the App Store. This is what it looks like. And it should allow you to uh, download apps directly from the Apple uh, from the App Store. Okay, the next thing that you want to do is check the iOS system version. So go into settings, and we go back in here, and then we go down and tap on General, then tap on Software Update. Now the real iPhones run on iOS, not Android, with an iOS skin. Settings should look smooth and identical to Apple's user interface. The fake ones uh, have a UI lag, uh, missing menus, or wrong icons. So here are some of the settings that you want to look for. It should look something like this. It should be nice and smooth by swirling up and down. You want to go to the home screen and inspect the icons to make sure it has all the familiar uh, Apple icons. Okay, so the screen should be smooth and animation should be smooth on Apple phones. The next thing that you want to check is to make sure your phone can use Siri. So you can uh, press on the button or use voice command. You say, hey Siri, here yeah, I will press and hold on the side button. What is 5 plus 5? So it shows the answer here. So clones, the clones or the fake uh, phone usually cannot run Siri. They use a generic voice assistant. So you can see here if you press on it, it shows the Siri icon right here. Another thing that you want to check is the camera system. Now you can see here on the iPhone 17, it has a complex camera system. Even though the fake one may show very similar uh, camera compartments right here, but when you open up the camera, it will be different. So here, if I open up camera, Okay, so on the camera system, you can see it has all the different modes. So you want to swipe across and make sure you can use all the different modes. So slow-mo, cinematic, video, photo, and so on. So the fake iPhone, we usually do not have all the different modes because of the fake different camera lens. So fake devices cannot replicate Apple's camera software. 
So I'm just going to get out of that and we open up the camera app. So the fake iPhones look like they have multiple cameras, but usually only one works. Another thing to check is if you go to App Store, try to install apps like Find My. So usually you should already have that on your device. So if you tap on, uh, tap on Find My Open App or iMessage or FaceTime, uh, Apple Support App or Apple Wallet. So usually these apps only work well, with Apple iPhone. So here, for example, if I turn on FaceTime, uh, this is what it looks like on FaceTime. And you can see FaceTime works fine. I can make call on FaceTime. Okay, so when using iMessage or FaceTime, it will activate with Apple ID. If you have a fake iPhone, then usually this will not work. Uh, the same as uh, Apple Wallet, it should work uh, normally uh, when you're having a real iPhone. And for Find My, it usually show device tracking and Apple ID. Uh, the fake one uh, cannot do that. Another thing uh, that you can check is the light, uh, lightning or the USB-C cable check. So real iPhone recognizes original accessories and has smooth charging animations. So here, when you plug it in, it shows charging at the top. Uh, the fake one usually show Android style charging inf uh, animation. It don't support MagSafe properly and USB-C may feel loose or cheap at the bottom here. This one here feels nice and sturdy and strong and everything fits into place. You may also want to uh, check on the physical build and buttons of the device. Now, if you look on the device here, whether it's stainless steel or aluminum frame, it feels premium. The silence of the ring switch, so you want to check on this uh, switch right here. If you press and hold on it, this shows silent or ring, ring tone. Um, you want to check on the tactic engine vibration, it should be strong and clean. And there should be no removable back, so everything is intact and all in one case. It shouldn't be, there shouldn't be any removable component uh, on the frame itself. And all the buttons are nice and smooth, clickable. It is nice and clean, well designed, well clean, and fits and all aligned in a straight line, like that. Fake one usually feel light, hollow, and buttons feel cheap, and the vibrations are usually weak. You may also want to check the storage capacity. So if you go into settings, and then we go down and tap on general, then tap on iPhone storage. Here, check on the actual storage to see if it shows where it, it, uh, where it said. Here, my device is 512, so it shows 512 gigabyte. The fake one usually have an, an expandable uh, storage space. And make sure you check the interface if it looks exactly like this or not. So the real phone, the real iPhone never shows SD card options and the capacities always matches the box in here. The next thing that you, that you, check, that you can check is your Apple logo test. So check on the Apple logo here. You can see it shows a shiny Apple logo with a glass depending on which model that you have. This one here have a nice smooth uh, back, uh, back uh, glass. So real iPhones have precise Apple uh, placement. So it sits just right here next to the side button. Again, depending on which model that you're getting, you, you want to double check on that. Uh, the back glass should be smooth and feel premium. There should be no LED glowing Apple logo. Uh, fake iPhones uh, often have the LED glowing at the back. So just to quickly recap, now this should be the red flags. Uh, if you see uh, it has Google Play Store on your iPhone, if Siri does not work or FaceTime or iMessage does not work, if you see dual SIM trade with SD card slot, it's definitely not iPhone. iPhone doesn't have um, SD card slot. Uh, if the menu looks like an Android style uh, settings menu, then that indicates your iPhone is actually an Android phone. 
uh, if you see visible lag everywhere of the wrong box font or printing on the device then that gives you a good indication that the iPhone is uh, fake and that's it so I'm pretty sure one of the methods should immediately give you a hint whether your iPhone is real or not uh, if you go through all the different um, all the different uh, steps that I told you here you should be able to confidently um, feel or know if the iPhone is real or not. Thank you for watching this video. If you find it helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.